This car here is uh, supercharged with a manual conversion that we just did. I'll go more into that shortly. What I want to talk about is the other car that was here at the same time as this car when it first got here in order to develop a, a full software offering for a regular natural aspirated motor for the engines and for the factory five-speed automatic transmission. Um, that's the other big difference between this and the B6, B7, S4 is that this has a five-speed automatic just like the 2.7T, it's the same exact designation and the B6, B7, S4 has a six-speed automatic. So we actually had developed software for the transmission, we developed software for the engine on both the cars when they got here with basically stock exhaust, stock configuration. The other car you don't see here, we fitted it with the headers uh, from the B6B7S4, bolted right on the engine. The only thing we had to do was uh, do the downpipe to modify to fit his cap back, which is going to be standard with these cars. The only real good cap backs on these is the Magnaflow 2.7T system. Due to the low production of this specific car, that's what we've found is the best way to go. It's a two and a half inch system. All you got to do is adapt the downpipes. And on the all road, the tips stick out a little bit far, but that's just a quick cut it down and pull them in. We did that on this car. But overall, the two and a half, you get similar performance to what you would have a B6B7S4 by just adapting the downpipes. So that's what we did on the other car was the headers. The other thing we did was our automatic tensioner kit conversion that we sell for the B6B7S4 where it just utilizes and gets rid of the factory bolt down tensioner. You can see that on our site. So that fit right on, no modifications required. And then that car got improved software, which we also sell when that car left all motor with headers, exhaust. Uh, we did a timing chain job as well, which we do a lot of, and we sell parts for that as well, which also fit this motor. So next I'm gonna go into the specifics of this car. Unlike the earlier A6 timing belt driven engine, this engine is basically a B6, B7 S4 engine with a couple mild differences to make it work inside this car. The car overall is going to be the same as a 2.7T all-road, which is what most people are used to. Um, the big difference is the engine. The fuel system is a difference between the B6, B7 S4. There's actual return lines on it. So this is basically the fuel system you would have on a 2.7T. The B6, B7 S4 only has one fuel line coming in and the return system is in the back of the car. The other real difference we found was the compressor isn't interchangeable due to some line differences, so the AC system is different. But other than that, the motor is basically identical other than the, the fact that it's a BAS engine code versus the S4's BHF, which is some cam profile differences, but the basic mechanical portion of the engine, the physical dimensions of the engine are the same. And when it comes to the car, the instrument cluster, the ABS, all that stuff is basically the same as the 2.7T. So they had to adapt this newer style engine from a B6 chassis to work with some of the older C5 electronics. The electronics in this car for the ABS, instrument cluster, etc., are more like B5, C5, S4, 2.7T cars. The intake manifold on this car is also compatible with the B6, B7, S4. So you could realistically build one of these cars with headers, intake manifold, and a two and a half inch cap back, our engine software and our transmission software and have it performing similar to a B67S4 automatic in a all row. Uh, we found that the factory software had a lot more limitations than the B67S4 as well. So that was a big gain on these cars that torque in the mid range picked up a lot. I now want to go into the specific details of this car here. This car has our supercharger kit, our stage one, uh, six and a half PSI kit that we sell for the B67S4 and been on the market for about five years now. Um, we also, on this car, we have the first of its kind, a 0A3 manual transmission conversion from a B67S4. That was actually quite difficult to make work due to some electronic features missing from that transmission. I'll get more into that in a minute. but. Basically, we knew this supercharger kit would fit. It just took getting a car here. As you can see, the intake filter and the boost hose, superchargers down there, and it's the same kit other than a couple minor details on the installation, and there are less modifications to the AC system. So this supercharger kit is now currently available for this car. So you may ask why we converted this car to a manual transmission. Well, the obvious reason a lot of people just want to convert to a manual transmission. We do that with a lot of the uh, older V8 timing belt uh, A6s with the 01E, and, which is from the 2.7T. And we do people who are just an automatic and just want the manual transmission from that car. 
So you want to see the differences here. Here is the six speed automatic. You can see it's larger and beefier. This is what is in the B6, B7 S4 and normally bolted to the timing chain V8. We have cars that have 30, 40,000 miles with our supercharger kit on it and 130, 140 on the transmission with zero issues. So these transmissions have proven to be pretty strong. Um, it is the 6 HP19, which is the same torque series as a 5 HP19. So theoretically, these should hold the same torque. This transmission should hold up. I also brought another transmission into the picture, this big monster right here, which is the 5 HP24. What that is from is from the 2000 to 2004 timing belt V8, A6, S6, some of the uh, A8s and other larger cars. You could see how much larger this is and it has a much higher torque capacity. So I just wanted this to show what is normally behind a V8 in these larger cars in the timing belt driven engine, just to not have people confused about this possibly being in this car. This car basically has a 2.7T transmission with a V6, V7, S4 engine bolted to it. Normally, this is what is bolted to that chain engine. So hopefully that clarifies the differences between the transmissions. Another reason why this car is relatively unique, it's basically a combination of two cars in one. Okay, so I just wanted to get into a precursor of the major hurdle we dealt with converting this car to a manual transmission. This would apply whether or not your car was supercharged if you wanted to put a manual transmission in your 2004-2005 all-road 4.2. This right here is the vehicle speed sensor in the transmission. This is the actual transmission from that car. That speed sensor is the same as what the 01E six-speed manual from the 2.7T S4 and A6 has. So you need that in order for the speedometer to work and therefore the speedometer will then get the information to the ECU. So that was a hurdle we ran into since the B6B7 S4 did not have that. I'm gonna next go to the transmissions and why, explain to you why we did not go with the 01E, which would match that chassis from an A6 versus the B6B7 S4. So now I'm gonna show you the difference between the 2.7T B5 S4 C5 A6 01E 6B transmission and the B6B7 S4 six-speed 0A3 transmission. Um, the big reason we went with this transmission is because it has a lot better gear ratio, tighter gear ratio, and it's specifically designed for a all-motor naturally aspirated V8. The 01E, which is a popular swap to put in these cars because it, well, it came in these cars, is a very strong transmission. The gears are just a little tall. We've done previous V8 uh, manual transmission swaps on the timing belt engines. And the car performs better than an automatic, but we found the ratios are just a little tall. And like I said, since the chain V8 normally has this trans, we wanted this one to work. The ratios are different, the rear end is different, the transmission mounting is different. But the big hurdle is this right here. This speed sensor is required on the older C5 B5 chassis cars to run the speedometer. These cars have a more advanced um, ABS system and they don't have a speed sensor, they don't have a provision for it. The layout of the case, we looked into machining it, it's just not gonna happen other than adding an external setup. So what we developed for this kit, which we're not showing here but should be available by the time you watch the video, is an actual converter from this sig from, to get this signal generated from the wheel speed, just like the newer cars do. So that's one unique part this car has, is a converter built in-house by JH Motorsports that converts the wheel speed sensor at this axle to this signal. And you could, I'll show you where it's plugged in on the car. And that was what got us over that electronic hoop. Obviously, physically making the transmission fit, modifying the cross member, using as many B6B7 S4 parts as possible, custom length drive shaft, specific rear diff from another model A6 um, were relatively straightforward. Obviously there's software recoding and other items we have to do which we would assist any customer who wanted to do this conversion in that. So you just saw a video of the development of our final unit for the converter in order to make the transmission that didn't have a vehicle speed sensor work in this car. Um, the wire is right here. It just goes down and plugs in to where it would normally plug into the transmission and it goes under the dash. Everything plugs in under the dash. We're able to actually tap into the wheel speed under the dash as well.
just a couple more details on the transmission swap. You can see the 6-speed 083 transmission right here, the B6B7S4 downpipes. And we actually built adapters to run a B6B7S4 cross member in this car. Um, due to the larger body on the all-road, it required some adapters. We made those. Those would be available to somebody doing the conversion. We're also working on a different mounting setup that would be similar to factory. That may or may not become available. Um, this is in the car where the speed sensor would normally go, right up in here. And that's what we routed it to our adapter since this transmission doesn't have it. Um, another issue you got to deal with is the length of the drive shaft. We added some length to it. We'll, we can provide that information to anybody who needs to do this conversion and wants to get the software, whether you're all motor, supercharged, or whatever. Uh, we also, the shifter box, we used from a B6, B7S4. All the rods, um, the plastic box itself was B5 because that would bolt into the car. We had to cut up in clearance a little bit. We're also currently now working on fitting a full B5 linkage in here with JHM parts to make it work on this transmission. That, since those are more readily available specific for this car for knobs, shift boots, and all that. Um, last but not least, on the, the clutch pedals and all that, we use the standard conversion stuff you would use on any conversion from a C5 or B5. It's the swing pedals from any 2.7T uh, B5, C5 uh, car. Um, same with the clutch slave and hydraulics. And then the rear end is a specific ratio to mate to this transmission, so you can't use the factory rear diff, you can't use an O&E rear diff. Uh, we can help, provide, help get that for you as well if you want to do this conversion. So now I wanted to show you the exhaust I spoke about and how this works on this car and on this conversion. This cat back would work no matter what transmission you have. This is the 2.7T Magnaflow 2.5. Like I said, it's a low production car, so this is just the best bet. It works. We went ahead and cut these tips down and pulled them in. They originally stuck out really far. You'll also notice if you go all the way down, it bolts up to our B6S4 downpipes. We just made an adapter right here to get it right on. So we just are using on this car, since this car didn't get headers, we're using our standard uh, B6, B7S4 downpipes from a manual transmission car since this has a manual transmission. Headers would go the same way. You would just have to make a small adaption to our downpipes for the headers or downpipes for this to run this exhaust on a car with or without a supercharger, with or without an automatic transmission.